Well, it's always special to come here to Monaco. You know, the, the people are absolutely crazy when we come here. The, the racing is different, you know, obviously uh, starting with the circuit is a completely different track. And then, you know, the atmosphere that makes it so special. So we all enjoy coming here and, uh, you know, it's always a special rhythm to have the Friday off, do the practice already on Thursday. Um, it allows you to, you know, prepare yourself a bit better for Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah. It's a different circuit, you know, it's a street circuit first off and then uh, the speeds are very low so we don't really get, you know, high cornering speed and high loads but uh, we have to go really close to the wall and you still have to push very, very hard to, you know, uh, make sure you go quick enough. So, and and it's a, it's a different kind of thrill because, uh, you know, there's no room for error and you know that when, when you're going round so, uh, you know, it makes it different and uh, I enjoy it quite a lot because you know you feel the adrenaline and you know it's 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 quite a thrill when you when you race around here well I think one side for sure is you know the atmosphere every year here is special that the people get very close to the track and you know then the history the tradition of the of the Grand Prix here in the streets of Monaco um, is very very big and uh, you know to put your name down on the list of winners here would be a, an extreme honor so that's why I think win winning around here is very very special. We should be very competitive Saturday and Sunday obviously uh, you know uh, qualifying is very important here so we'll try our best on the one lap but uh, I think yesterday was a good preparation not perfect yet but you know that's why uh, we have some time now and uh, we hope to make a step forward and um, you know sorting out some details in order to yeah, go faster on Saturday. It's new to me, you know, it's not, you know, what I do every day. Obviously, I feel much more comfortable inside the car. But it was quite, you know, quite good fun. Uh, it was very straightforward, not, you know, not, not that difficult in a way because I just had to pose a little bit, not, not that much. And, um, yeah, you know, the, the photographer made my life quite easy. So it was very precise. And, yeah, I think in the end, I mean, I haven't seen most of the pictures but uh, some and uh, I think the results are very very good uh, at one stage we had a bit of rain coming but uh, then the sun came out again so it was fine uh, more or less what we you know what I what I what I've won today obviously uh, you know not always that stylish but uh, usually very very casual you know um, yeah I think it's normal you know when you're at home then it doesn't really matter that much so I you know most of the time in jeans and a shirt and when you go out then jeans and maybe a nice shirt so uh, you know it's not that much difference but surely when you go out you try to you know look nicer well you know it's nice once in a while but it's not I'm not a big fan you know it's always a, a special world here and a different world not really you know not the real world in my point of view so um, Surely, you know, it belongs to the Monaco Grand Prix and it makes it so special. But, uh, you know, if you look at the size of the boats, it, is, uh, it seems like it's getting crazier and crazier every year. So, uh, you know, it's good that we have our room and, you know, everything is calm. And as I said, I feel most comfortable in the car. Uh, but, yeah, you know, it's, I think, you know, from an outside point of view, obviously, uh, as, a, as a driver, you don't, you know, you don't have to do much with boats and, and all the people. Um, but from the outside, I think it's nice, you know, it, it is part of the Monaco Grand Prix and it makes it, you know, as I said, so special. Es ist einfach was, also was ganz Besonderes hier in Monaco zu fahren. Die Strecke ist was ganz Besonderes und ja, die Atmosphäre, das Leben hier, es ist bunter als überall anders und es ist mehr los. Ähm, auf der Strecke, sage ich mal, herrschen die gleichen Gesetze wie sonst auch. Also, Das Rennen an sich ist eigentlich nicht anders und äh, man kriegt auch nicht mehr oder weniger Punkte hier. Ähm, also von der Seite ist alles gleich, aber trotzdem spürt man, dass es einfach ein bisschen einen gewissen Flair hat und ein bisschen was anderes ist. Zunächst mal ist es ein Stadtkurs. Ähm, es hat sehr, sehr wenig Platz. Es ist sehr eng. Keine, keine, ja, man kann sich so gut wie keine Fehler erlauben. Und ähm, das weiß man natürlich. Die Anspannung, Anspannung ist, ist unterschiedlich und... Äh, Im Cockpit muss man trotzdem noch alles aus sich rausquetschen, voll ans Limit gehen, aber eben darf nicht den Schritt zu weit gehen, weil dann könnte das das ausbedeuten. Und man hat dann ja anfangs diese Aufregung, die man irgendwann erstmal 
äh, versorgen muss und sich dann wirklich wieder, um sich dann wieder voll aufs, aufs Fahren zu konzentrieren. Und äh, hier ist es ganz wichtig, einfach den, den Rhythmus zu finden. Ähm, die Geschwindigkeit ist nicht so hoch, auch in den Kurven nicht, weil es sind alles sehr enge Kurven, es hat wenig Platz, aber es ist einfach was, was anderes. Schauen wir mal, also der Trainingsauftakt war, denke ich, ganz gut für unser Team. Wir hatten noch zwei, drei kleine Sachen, die wir noch aussortieren müssen. Ich denke, wir können noch einen Schritt nach vorne machen, müssen wir auch, weil hier ist es immer schon sehr eng gewesen. Ferrari schaut, schaut sehr schnell aus, als auch McLaren, sowohl Mercedes. Also es ist generell enger zusammen hier, es ist eine kurze Strecke, also es wird richtig eng und das Qualifying ist ja, hier fast matchentscheidend. Also wer vorne steht und einen guten Start hat, das ist schon mal die halbe Miete. Dieses Jahr könnte es ein bisschen anders sein, weil es vielleicht mehr Boxenstops gibt, aber alles in allem ist das Qualifying die Disziplin, auf die es äh, drauf ankommt an dem Wochenende. Und äh, ja, ich glaube, wir sollten in etwa dabei sein, wir müssen uns zwar sehr ins Zeug legen, wie immer, aber äh, ja, das ist wie, wie jedes Mal die Herausforderung. Oh, es war ganz lustig, also mal was anderes. Äh, mit Sicherheit bin ich da kein Profi, aber äh, ja, ich denke, es war recht einfach. Ich, die Leute haben es mir recht einfach gemacht, da hineinzufinden. Und äh, ja, im Endeffekt musste ich nicht viel sagen, sondern äh, eigentlich nur sitzen oder stehen und schön in die Kamera schauen. Ich hoffe, das hat ganz gut gepasst. Ich habe nicht alle Bilder gesehen bis jetzt, aber einige. Und ich glaube, das sah so ganz gut aus. Zwischendurch hatten wir mal kurz Regen. Ähm, aber dann kam die Sonne wieder raus. Also alles in allem hat es eigentlich ziemlich viel Spaß gemacht und war eigentlich ganz entspannt. Ja, schon. Also vor allem, äh, man wird ja dann wieder in die nächste Klamotte gesteckt und weiter und weiter. Und äh, ja, natürlich passt dann nicht immer alles. Und äh, man kriegt dann so einen Satz beiläufig mit von wegen, ja, wenn es um Mode geht, dann ist äh, zumindest was auf Bildern und auf der Leinwand passiert, so ziemlich viel gefälscht oder inszeniert. Der Gürtel war viel zu groß, die Schuhe waren zu groß, aber sowas sieht man dann natürlich auch im Foto nicht. Dann gibt es dann natürlich die Clips, um die T-Shirts schön eng anzuspannen und dass das alles auch schon so sitzt. Ähm, so könnte man nie vor die Tür gehen, aber auf dem Foto sieht es dann ganz gut aus. Ja, ich denke, es hat einfach Spaß gemacht. Ich denke, das Fotoshooting äh, ja, war ganz locker und entspannt und das macht es natürlich auch für uns angenehmer. Ähm, ja, auf den Booten und die, an den Yachten ist jetzt nicht so meine Welt, äh, ist schon sehr weit weg, auch wenn es direkt nebenan ist, äh, wenn, wenn wir hier sind, aber ich sag mal, es ist nicht das, nicht das echte Leben, was man vielleicht immer so den Eindruck bekommt, ähm, ja, neben der Rennstrecke. Deswegen, auf der Rennstrecke ist für mich viel entscheidender und da äh, fühle ich mich auch viel wohler. Yeah, it's obviously very nice, especially because we all drivers enjoy the track and uh, it's always nice to drive on a street circuit. But as well, obviously, you know, to have this nice environment and uh, obviously nice weather, which is always nice, uh, it's very enjoyable. Well, I think uh, we all drivers enjoy a street circuit, especially because we have the feeling that we drive very fast because everything is more smaller and the track, let's say, it's uh, more bumpy and uh, it's like to say more technical for everyone so it looks more challenging for the driver and that's why street circuits are always fantastic for, for the driver point of view well uh, the first thing to say is that it's not possible to overtake this is something quite common in a street circuit like like Monaco it's uh, just one line so it's, it makes overtaking almost impossible even with uh, all the situation we have this year with the care system and with the rear wing but uh, you know I think uh, we, will, we will see more overtaking maneuvers by the strategy than not really on the track and uh, the second thing is to be very precise I mean it's very easy to make a mistake it's 78 laps the race is quite a uh, quite long race and uh, especially with maybe two tire changes that you know at the end the last five or six laps from every stint uh, the tires are already very used and uh, they are very old so the grip level is quite low so it's on this situation it's very easy to make a mistake so it's a difficult race for the driver especially to finish it and not to make any mistake it was cool it was a nice experience on the boat you know it was my first time I was in a boat in Monaco and as well uh, photo shooting, so it was, it was quite interesting, nice experience. 
Well, it's something I think you need to do. It's uh, I like driving, you know, at the end we are drivers, we are not models. But uh, yeah, it's a new experience and uh, I had to do it, so I'm happy to do it. Oh, well, just very simple, you know, some jeans, some nice, uh, you know, shirts and, uh, and trainers. Just, just normal, nothing special. It can be difficult, um, but I think they in their environment, yeah, Formula One, you know, we have to track um, they're around their process and their people, so hopefully it's a bit more relaxed. I think if they're in a studio, it can be quite difficult sometimes. I think we just tried to get some variations of the boat, the track, you know, what's available to us really. Too. It's a bit of glamour, it's a bit of, you know, the feeling of what goes on in Monaco, which is quite special. The adrenaline, the drivers, the glamour, you know, a bit of fun. We're trying to capture that. Sebastian was, you know, great. Uh, Jaime's great. And I'm sure Mark will be great. You know, they, they, they experienced drivers, so it was a bit of fun for them. I, I just kind of asked them to be themselves, to be honest with you, which, and because Sebastian's really cheeky and he's got a great personality, so to be honest with you, I just tried to get that personality on camera um, and to be relaxed, which he was. And Jaime is the same, he's, you know, he's just very relaxed, he's very confident. So I, I didn't have to do much, to be honest with you.
Yeah, that's good, let's roll. Nice. Looks lovely. And girls, girls. Lean on his shoulder. Go, go even closer to him. Right here. Why don't you both head slightly? That's nice. 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 Make it believable. Sit up a bit more. You feel a little bit. Come down, come down this side. 